Hello, this is David Wansey here in Goa in India where there's lots of noise and distractions going on. So apologies in advance if some strange noises make it to the recording. But I decided to put the camera on because that way I will keep going and not be tempted to edit and actually get this video out. Anyways, this one I am calling Working Smarter with WordPress Images. It's a blog post that I published today over at my site, davidwalmsey.com, and the link will be below. But in it, I am featuring five fairly new to me methods of working with WordPress images. So I'm going to cover each of these in turn and starting with what I think is my favorite. This I don't know why I didn't think about it before, is a real time saver and it's the ability to add metadata to your WordPress images. So the best way I can probably explain this is to go over to this site and to the media library. So as we know, when we add an image to WordPress, it adds it to the media library and whatever you call your file name for your image gets reproduced here as a title. Now, if you're like me, a little bit SEO conscious, you're likely to try and label up your image files as something that means something to search engines. So in this case, I've called it seasonal online shopping and to break up the words and to avoid spaces which create those horrible URLs where you have percentage 20, percentage 20 for every space that you create. I've added some hyphens or dashes here, but it recreates those, of course, over to the title, which leaves me having to delete those and put spaces in the title here. Also, I need to then usually copy and paste this into my alt text. So I've got something there good for SEO, important for those people who use screen readers. And of course, what I know is that if I pass this information on to clients, it's less likely that they're going to be bothered to put the alt text in because it doesn't mean so much to them. So wouldn't it be nice if we had a way to pre-populate this and strip out what we don't need? So I searched for this a few months ago and I stumbled across this post from brutalbusiness.com Come and it's fabulous. It's so well explained. A big thanks to Francesco, I'm going to say, and I'm not even going to say the surname because I'll get it wrong. But it's all explained here. It's just a piece of code here that you add to your child themes functions PHP file. And you can just copy and paste it as it is. But this is actually well marked up here. So you can see through the comments what it does. So it removes the hyphens, underscores and extra spaces as it's populating various fields. And you can decide which fields you want it to populate. So it does the titles and the alt tags, which are important to me. But it also allows you to copy the same to the captions and descriptions area. So let me just go over here. Here. Now, I have added that code also to my blog post and a link to it, but it's really easy to just add it and I've done it on this site. So let me just close this and go over to my to appearances, to editor, to my child theme and functions PHP file. And you can see the entire code is added there. So let me just show you this in action. I'm going to minimize this and drag in this image. And this is Goa, so slow net. So we'll wait a little bit of time for this to come up oh, where well, they're not too bad. OK, let's open this image up now. And as you can see, it's added the title, which I've got there, which had a hyphen there, stripped it out and added it to all of these areas, if you like. So that's pretty much that. Now, the next one on my list, number two, if you're really observant, you might have spotted that this is not something that's a default of WordPress, the ability to replace an image. And this comes from a plugin on the repository, a free plugin by ShortPixel, the people who do image optimization. It's a really lightweight plugin. And I think this is quite powerful. Let me explain this. So 
Often I'm auditioning images. Typically it will be a logo. So in order to keep adding them to the library, it'll be logo number one, number two, and it'll be about number five by the time I get the sizing right, unless I'm using something like an SVG, which will size automatically. And the same will be true if I'm doing hero images on the homepage. I'm auditioning a lot. Now I could delete them all and just add a renamed one. Typically I'm too lazy and we're left with hero number for. Well, this allows you to just replace the images and keep all the names as they are. So let me just show you this in action. So once you've activated this plugin, enable media replace, uh, you'll get this new option. Let me just go back and show you it in action. So let me upload a new file to replace this one. And again, a little slow up oh, there we go so what we need to do here you've got two options one is to actually replace with new names and update all the links I'm just going for this one here which is just replace the file and I need to choose my image I always want to go to upload so here I'm choosing this one it's got a really ugly name here which is another advantage because you don't have to keep renaming all of the files as well so let's just open this and upload it and it should entirely replace that image now i'm probably going to need to do a hard refresh yes i will because it just shows it as it is but trust me it is right let's just do an f5 there we are so we've got the same name for the file and all the other data is exactly as it was left just a point actually on the first one with that code if you're wondering what happens if you regenerate your images it works fine i use the i think it's regeneration plugin from wordpress and everything remained with the same naming okay so that's tip two i'm going to go back over to my blog post to just cover the other ones because they're easy to explain from here. So tip three is something I didn't know. If you go into your settings of media and you zero out your thumbnails that you have here, it stops producing those. So something I realized that I very rarely use the small thumbnail size, which is I think by default set at uh, 150 pixels by 150 pixels so they're just using up hard disk space and if I'm paying for my image optimization it's using up more of my credit there so I've started to remove these or remove any other ones I've wanted just to save that space and to make things a lot more simple and taking this a step forward and perhaps in reverse in a way if I do need more images there is a bit of code here which I've added where you can add more thumbnails so that might happen say on a uh, product site where you need lots of various different crops of an image for different pages so you might need more than the standard three and you can add them here but what i think is quite nice is to be able to rename those custom thumbnails so what i could do is zero out all of the defaults that say medium and large and replace it with this code and as you can see here you can just copy this but you can rename your title for your image so product archive that would tell the client that they would need to use that one if they're on the archive page or the shop page and here for product single if they were on the single page for that product for example so th this is something i might do to try and make things a little bit easier and make sure that things don't go so wrong with the images for clients and even for myself so that's it and finally the real big game changer is i used to always up until again only months ago always fire up adobe fireworks and do my optimization of images there and size them well now i completely skip that there was a deal on AppSumo some time back for short pixel i've included my affiliate link here i'm such a big fan of this it works so well there are a lot out there and i've tested quite a few but what i like about this one is that it seems to optimize to the maximum and usually better than well always better than anything i could do myself with fireworks but also it doesn't seem to pixelate which i found with some others they would 
over optimize some of the images and I want to be able to leave this running for clients and so far it's worked really well clients have been uploading their own images I can set the maximum um, file size that they're going to upload as well with this plugin so they can't be you know I set it at one uh, nine two zero I think as my width and, and maybe the height is something like one thousand and that stops them uploading those mobile images anyway it's really worth checking out there are other ones of course to check out there is a little bit of a rumor perhaps I shouldn't be saying that that this app sumo deal may be coming soon so if you're looking for a solution maybe it's worth buying this now and then buying any life deals that come up later but the costs are pretty good on it I really like the way it works. You can test out some images on their site here by going to their online optimizer. In fact, you could just do your optimizing here. You can get 50 images anyway by just downloading their free plugin and you get those per month. So that might be enough for you. And then you could come here and also optimize them. Another 50 here from your browser. Let me just show you that while I'm here. Let me take this image and drop it in so you can see the kind of difference that it makes so this is the lossy one which takes the most off on it but there is maybe the slightest compromise to the image but it is really minor and that's what I've left it on as you can see it's really reduced this by 76% um, now that's quite big and you can actually test this out for yourself you can see what they look like on this now I don't know if this will show up on the screencast but there is a very very minor loss of smoothness on some of the uh, clouds over here but that's about it the rest of it just looks exactly as it is and it's taken 76% off so I love it it works in the background now clients can go up there I can set the sizes or the maximum they can upload they can just keep uploading those and with those other tricks it's gonna make it a lot more easier I think for clients to manage themselves okay I hope this was useful I managed to get to the end if you did like this video then please give me a thumbs up and if you like these kind of videos then please subscribe to the channel and I hope to catch you again in another the video soon. Thank you. Bye.